Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And may every knee bow, may every tongue confess that he is Lord of Lords. Well, friends, today is August the 9th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, I trust this finds you feeling blessed, ready for the Word of God, and willing to obey all that you hear from the Word of God. With that being said, our text this morning is going to be found in Psalm chapter 150. Now, if you're familiar with the Bible, especially the Psalms, you know that Psalms 150 is about praising the Lord in and with all things. And so the topic that I want to discuss this morning is the topic of music. I hear often the question asked whether Christians should listen to secular music, specifically rock and roll, but even at times country music. And the only answer that I can give is that I don't need to tell you that. The Spirit of God that lives within you tells you that. And what you're looking for, or what these people who are looking for, who ask these questions, is verification to do what they want to do, as opposed to listening to the Spirit within them. There's no possible way that you can listen to a song about womanizing, or about getting drunk, or about rebellion, or about living a life of wild excess, partying and drinking all night. And I don't know what an accurate statistic would be, but I would almost guess 95% of all rock and roll in all country is about those very things. That's what the songs are about. But even aside from the message, there are two more serious factors involved here. One that seems to be from invisible forces, spiritual forces that drive this music. The first one that I would tell you about is called backward masking. If you're not familiar with it, look it up on the internet. Basically, it's taking a song and reversing it, playing it backwards and hearing a message in the music that was not intended to be there. For instance, the old Queen song, Another One Bites the Dust in Reverse, says we've decided to smoke marijuana. Now, you may say, well, there's nothing wrong with marijuana. States are legalizing it, and people are beginning to see that it's a remedy for a lot of health issues. But friends, even more than that, and that's not the nature of this study this morning, but even more than that, it's a gateway to other drugs. And being an ex-drug user myself, I can testify to that from experience. I would never have done LSD had I not done marijuana. And this point may be argued by many, but the facts are the facts. Marijuana is a gateway drug into other drugs. Marijuana opens our minds, and so do even more severe drugs, to things that God never intended our minds to be open to. And the heart of rock and roll specifically, but even a lot of country music, is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now, one other fact about backward masking is that every message that has ever been found to be communicated in reverse through these recordings always is about the church, is about Jesus, or is about the cross. And it's always negative about one of those topics. There's never a message that doesn't make any sense like pigs lay eggs or cows fly backwards, and never anything like that. It's always a message directly against the Bible, the church, the Lord Jesus, the cross. And so that should tell us that there are spiritual forces driving these things, spiritual forces that most of us are unaware of. But you should do a study on rock and roll specifically because you would be interested to learn that the beat behind the music derives from the African voodoo drums. And that's the second point that I want to talk to you about is how this music drives us. We can literally be controlled by the music that we listen to. I mean, think about it for a second. We have invited a hundred kids, young teenagers, 
into an auditorium. And as they are arriving, we're playing the old 60s rock and roll. And throughout the evening, we gradually change and increase the beat of the music. We work all the way through the 70s. We work through the 80s with the metal hair bands. We work into the 90s. And at this point, where the kids once were just sitting at the tables talking with one another, now they're up dancing. And the dancing starts mild and gradual. But as we increase the beat of the music, the intensity of the music, we literally can drive these kids into a frenzy where they're banging on one another, they're thrusting against one another, and they're absolutely out of control. And it's really not their fault because they're being driven by the music. And so how are we, as the people of God, supposed to conduct ourselves in the music that we listen to? Well, obviously, everything is supposed to point to Jesus, not the musicians, not the people that are listening to the music, not our own flesh, not our own feelings. Everything is supposed to exalt and point to Jesus. That's why when we read in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, it says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. How often have you been driving home from the grocery store whistling a song that you heard at the grocery store? You are thinking on the things you have heard. And so our music should be glorifying the Lord Jesus, should be all about the Lord Jesus, and these are the things that we should be thinking on. Therefore, as the people of God, we have no place listening to such things as what this world offers us. I have listened to a lot of rock and roll, I've listened to a lot of country, I've listened to a lot of rap in my life, and I've never listened to one of those things that were true, that were honest, that were just, that were lovely, that were of good report, that were pure, that brought praise to the Lord Jesus. Even much of the Christian contemporary slash rock music available today doesn't truly exalt Jesus as he should be exalted. The only music that I have found that does so is either Southern Gospel or the old hymns. And these are readily available to us today if we know where to look. You can go on the internet and you can listen to Southern Gospel. And if you'll give it the opportunity, you'll find that it blesses your soul. If you have DirecTV, you can find it on channel 828. Now, friends, I'm not trying to beat you down this morning. All I want you to do is walk in blessing. And if you want to truly walk in blessing, as the old saying goes, garbage in, garbage out, well, good things in, good things out. And so whatever your choice is in the music that you listen to, be sure to choose music that exalts God in all his glory. Now, we have spent our entire time and we haven't even looked at our text, so let's end with our text this morning, friends. Psalm chapter 150, praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. That word sanctuary there means holiness. It means his separateness. Praise him in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power or the expanse of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Today we could say, praise him with Facebook. Praise him with Twitter. Praise him with the internet. Praise him with the radio. Praise him with the television. In all things, let him be praised. And let all of our choices be made upon that very fact, friends. 
Well, I love you, and I'm so thankful that you decided to spend a few moments with us again today. I pray that the Word of God is having an impact on your life, and it's changing you from who you were into who you're supposed to be. You know the Spirit's gentle voice when He speaks, when He warns against the things that you're doing and the choices that you're making. Listen to His voice, friends. He will never lead you wrong. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.